One of the reasons why I have decided to reconcile is that our people are suffering and the standard of living here under the leadership of President Salif has tremendously improved in a sense that the infrastructure prior to her administration was all sold. You know, it was very, very terrible to the point where people who I've seen here in Liberia have said the government is trying to bring some sense of stability in the country. In order to sustain peace in this country, we all need to come together and reconcile with the past. I know it's very hard to forget, but we all can forgive and move on. Does this mean that uh, you have forgiven everyone that was supposedly involved in the events leading up to the death of your husband? That is absolutely correct. Listen, we are all human beings. As we get older in life, we become wiser. We cannot be angry and viciously maintaining that sense of hatred any longer. It does not do anything. With peace comes unity, stability, forgiveness. And for me, I'm a Christian. I'm also not there to be the first one to cast a stone. However, like I said, we can all forgive, but we cannot forget the past. The past is part of our history, but yet and still we can use that and become constructively strong in bringing stability. I understand, uh, Talo, that you have uh, made contact with uh, Mrs. Uh, Nasi Do, that's the widow of the late Samuel K. Do, the former president of Liberia. Did you meet with Mrs. Do, and what did you have to say to each other? Listen, Mr. Butter, as I indicated, I'm not going to go through the dynamics, you know, what happened. I'm, I'm sure people can reflect upon that and know the history. I don't have to reiterate that. But yes, I did meet with Mrs. Doe through the, uh, the president, Madame Salif, was able to facilitate that meeting. And I do thank her very much from the bottom of my heart. That meeting today was needed to bring a closure, to bring Mrs. Doe and I and the rest of this Lima Gio thing to a closure and let the people realize that we are one people. Talo, do you have any intention to go into politics in Liberia? Currently, I have no political ambition, but however, if I'm asked to come and share my one or two skills, I'll be more than glad to give my country the skills that I have learned in the United States of America. I'll be more than glad to do that.